Lamentations chapter 4 verse 17. As for us, our eyes as yet fell for our vain help. And our watching, we have watched for a nation that could not save us. Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Shai, Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Shai, Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Shai, Call Halal Lai Yahweh Ba Shimmy Yahweh Shai. That's Hebrew, interpret, bless Yahweh, bless Yahweh Shai. All praises to the Father Yahweh in the name of the Son Yahweh Shai. I want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's whole for elect. Scattered abroad, teaching his word in sincerity and truth. Shalom. All right. Now, this is just my response to um, this debate that they had. I think it came out two days ago. And it was with T.I., Killer Mike, Candace Owens. All right. And they talked about, it's, as you can see, it's an hour and 18 minutes. I didn't watch the whole thing. And there's a few, few things I caught here and there. And uh, what's going viral right now is the um, T.I. versus Candace Owen debate because she says something and T.I. came back and kind of cut her, you know, because she's coming from a perspective of um, being educated, indoctrinated, you know, the way Esau likes it, you know, you know, he wants to indoctrinate you, you so-called black people, Hispanics, all right, as well. And their formula, all right? So when you go to school, their education teaches you about your history. This is why the elites, starting with the House of Esau, okay? The Rothschilds, because it starts with the elites first. They are so-called called the one percenters. You know, they are enlightened. But on the left-hand side, they know the full truth and how the world works. They know that there's a power in the creator that's above them. And they know that the creator is not for them. And he's for us. All right. But staying on the topic, um, uh, so I can get this out the way, the intro is, um, you know, it's going viral. T.I. versus Candace Owen. And um, T.I. position, which I hope I could probably find it. I had tried, uh, you know, other videos, you know, is there. But this is the actual video itself. And I'm going to skim through it. But uh, T.I.'s position was, you know, telling her, like, you know, uh, basically, it'll come out. Anyway, man, you know, this is just my response, which I hope to play that part. But um, you got Killer Mike. Now, Killer Mike is kind of like the star because he has the he has the uh, the words and the solution, you know, that best fits all of black people in this audience. You know, he's saying everything that makes the most sense, so to say. But I'm going to hit you with something, all right? Killer Mike, T.I., and all these black people on here, all right, which really the tribe of Judah, that is the so-called Negroes, all right, they're all wrong. Because what you people fail to realize is, 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 uh, is 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 the uh the truth the truth of the matter is that your god chose your you're the most highest chosen people all right and there's a reason why spiritually i'm talking spiritually there's a reason why spiritually we went we're going through this captivity because we haven't left it we just left hard bondage now we're in a a modern day of slavery, which is they're enslaving your consciousness, they're enslaving your thoughts, they're moping and molding and, and shaping, you know, your reality for you. They're erasing history. Now they want to take out slavery out of the history books and say that we volunteer to be slaves. And that right there is enough. You know, it's just a little bit because it's so much more, but it just proves that. These Esau Edomites, these Edomites are your enemy. But when you got these black folks that know a little bit of this, know a little bit of that, far as the current history from a few hundred years ago or whatever the case is, 
that's not cutting it. And um, I don't want to keep blabbering on. The precept just popped in my mind. I'm going to get this scripture real quick. This is... uh. Because um, what they fail to realize is that they don't have the truth. They don't know, you know, <laughs> black people is no hope. And they have no solution because they can't. The, the Lord haven't given you the eyes to see and ears to hear. So what these folks is talking about is trying to condition themselves better here in America. America was bred off of slavery. All right. This place breeded you, slaved you, took away everything of your ancestors from spiritually, mentally, and physically, man. Okay. And then they tell you that you're African, but that's as far as you can go. You know, a lot of you people in the world, you so-called blacks, you believe that you're African. We're not African. The question is, the million dollar question is, where was we before Africa? Because there's history there too. Did you think about that? When the Jews fl flee Roman persecution and they fled out of Israel and they went down into the the uh the short the uh west coast of Africa, all right. We had dispersed, and the Bible is a record of our history, and it tells you that. But then everybody has this philosophy, they has their religion, they have whatever they read from whatever Edomite wrote up that the Bible is not real, you know, the Bible ain't gonna help us, this and this and that. But anyway, this is Romans chapter eleven, verse seven. What then? Israel have not obtained that which he seeketh for, but the election have obtained it, and the rest were blinded. So when you look at these celebrities on TV talk about real issues, you know, that the so-called black community goes through, just as well as the Hispanic community, because you're all the Israelites, whether you believe it or not, they're blinded. You know, everything that Killer Mike is saying, yeah, it makes sort of sense. He's bringing out some history. He's bringing out receipts. He's stating facts. But guess what? If you're going to strive to better yourself here in America, you're not going to win. You're never going to win. Because the Lord set this place up, which is also, you know, you call it America, but the Bible calls it Babylon the Great. This is a prison system for us. And the reason for it is because we sinned against our heavenly father. But let me continue to read. It says, what then? Israel have not obtained that which he seeketh for, but the election have obtained it and the rest were blinded. So only the elect is going to obtain this truth. And the truth is, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, who you truly are as your identity, your inheritance, the Lord's name. You got to start with the creator before you can get past your enemy. You gotta make one, you gotta make amends meet with, with, with your creator. You gotta repent. But these people, these celebrities would never do such a thing because they too they too bigger, they 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 too greater than that. You know, they got money. You know, they got they could they can get their hands on things that we can't. So why would they even look at a video like this, you know, of a uh, uh, man of the Lord teaching the scriptures? And reproving them. Why would they even consider it? You know, because the most high ain't dealing with them. You know, it says, according as it is written, the most high have given them the spirit of slumber, eyes that they should not see, and ears that they should not hear unto this day. So even unto this day, while the prophets are prophesizing week in and week out, all right, speaking a hundred percent truth, you know, which you can get into in the Bible and read and and and, and um, learn the meaning of the words, going into the Greek, going into the Hebrew, you know. But first, it takes for you to believe. So no matter that the prophets are even out there speaking this word, you know, giving the Lord no rest to establish the kingdom, they still can't hear and they still can't see. It says, according as it is written, 
God hath given them the spirit of slumber, eyes that they should not see, and ears that they should not hear unto this day. And that reminds me of Dante Wilder. To this day. All right. It says, verse 9. And David say, let their table be made a snare, and a trap, and a stumbling block, and a recompense unto them. All right. So the Most High is going to judge these characters, man. Because here it is. None of them is seeking the true and living power. You know, they could seek books after books after books and get into this and get into that. They can travel and do this and do that. But one thing, they, the most important ingredient is, yeah, is the Lord. And because of what Esau have done with the Bible, you know, really through Satan, it's really discouraged Jake and even believing in the Most High. But ultimately, it's because the Heavenly Father had blinded them. Gave them the spirit of slumber, eyes that they should not see and ears that they should not hear to this day. All right. And this is uh, kind of sort of like precepts that I will have grabbed in my last uh, lesson I did yesterday. And I'm just going to go right to it real quick. This is uh, Baruch chapter 4 verse 1. Because there's reasons why we went into captivity under these Edomites. Okay. And yes, I'm not calling them Caucasian or white people. Because biblically, they are the Edomites that the Bible speaks of, whether you 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 hear or forbear, whether you believe it or you don't. Okay? And everything is gonna come to pass when the Lord fulfill these prophecies. So, like as uh Ezekiel said, then you will know there were prophets among you. And there what? 144,000 prophets, man. So really there's no there's no cloak. You know, there is no excuse. It doesn't matter if you're a celebrity. It doesn't matter if you're a poor man. If you don't get this truth and you're an Israelite from the seed of your father, then you then you miss a fool, man. You, you're finished. You know, but the masses, everybody would look up to these characters and especially the star of the show, Killer Mike, you know, because it sounds good. It sounds good. And before I read Baruch 4, I must read the scripture that I read before I even started the greeting. This is Lamentations chapter 4 and 17. As for us, our eyes as yet felt for our vain help. In our watching, we have watched for a nation that could not save us. So you, you people that's being a part of the system, here it is. You got your children, you know, and you believe in the red and blue. You believe in a Democrat, Republican. That's a part of the game so that you can. Pray, I mean, so that you can hope, let me say, in hopes that the other nations will save you, you know. And it really is coming down to the point that, you know, niggas, they don't care. It doesn't really even matter. As long as a nigga could have his blunt, as long as a nigga could get his, you know, he can get that box from Shorty. He can listen to his demonic music. He good to go. As long as she able to get her wig, her weave. Her fingernails done, she good to go. Cause that's how degenerates that our people have become. And this should and this should this should alarm you, man. It hey, it should bring some type of uh shame to you. Because we used to be as a a holy glory people. Now we're degenerates. Okay, which is the Lord number as the two thirds. You're degenerates, man. You're really good for nothing. You know? And that's just the God knows truth. And it's all because you caught up in the world, all right, and you're not caught up within your power in which you lost. Or, well, let's say the Lord took from you. Now the Lord is truly calling us back. This is why you see the prophets out there speaking, because the Lord is calling us back. Okay? So let me finish that again. As, as for us, all right, you so-called blacks. You so-called Negroes, West Indians, Haitians, Hispanics, Native and Seminole Indians. This is talking about you. As for us, our eyes had yet, as yet fell for our vain help. You're never going to get help from Esau. If you're going to, and I'm not promoting violence, but I'm just saying, I'm speaking facts and I'm not promoting violence. So if you do anything stupid, that's on you. But if you're not going to, you know, take this devil down by violence, you're not getting anywhere. 
And I'm not promoting you to do that. All right. But you're not getting anywhere. You know, this is why they put together uh, Black Lives Matter. All right. So that what you can be a controlled you can have they, they can have control over your your begging control, you know, over your protests. You know, these Edomites got you, got you, got you, got your days numbered. All right. They know exactly how you think. They know exactly, you know, um, uh, your footsteps, man. OK, because in our reality, the way that they shape your lifestyle, they created you. All right. Now you got a bunch of so-called Negroes and Hispanics, a bunch of homosexuals and transsexuals, man. That's crazy, you know. But anyway, I want to stay on course. It says in our watching, we have watched for a nation that could not save us. So you're looking for a nation to save you, but which is the same nation that put you in slavery. You know, so, yeah, Killer Mike saying a lot of good things here and there, you know, but. He's not speaking the truth. You know, um, I'm going to read Baruch and I'm going to let the video play a little bit. I'm kind of this is not a um, uh, well planned lesson. This is kind of in the spirit putting up raw. You know, I, I jotted some precepts down and I'm just going in the spirit. Whatever the spirit lead me to say what scripture to pull. That's what it's going to be. Now, this is Baruch chapter four, verse one, because you need to know why we went into slavery. It's deeper than what you think. You have to start with the spirit. You have to start from the main ingredient, the creator. All right. It says Baruch form one, for this is the book of the commandment of the most high and the law that endure forever. All they that keep it shall come to life, such as leave it shall die. So guess what? It's about the law. When the Lord gave Moses the law, he was talking, he was, he was giving it to us. Okay. And it says, and the law that endure forever. So even to this day, the law, the law of the Lord still is still is in effect. Okay. But because of our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai, who gave up his life for the Israelites. All right. In particular, the elect, we have grace. OK, because guess what? The two thirds, guess what? The wicked of his people going to be destroyed by for 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 transgression, his law. All right. It says all they that keep it shall come to life, but such as leave it shall die. So it's very important that we come back into the Lord now to live or, you know, if not, then you're going to die. You know, if you did not know, you should know that. There is going to be a World War Three. There is going to be anarchy. There is going to be something the scriptures call Jacob's trouble. And it's approaching. They're going to force RFID microchips, which the Bible call it mark of the beast. They're going to force it upon you. All right. That's prophecy. All right. It says, turn the old Jacob and take hold of it. So who is Jacob? Jacob is the forefather. All right. Of the tribes. It says. It says, um, and take hold of it, walk in the presence of the light thereof, that thou mayest be illuminated. So you need to be enlightened. What you're not enlightened to is the truth. And that's your God. That's your creator, your Lord and Savior, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. You can be enlightened into all the books in the world and all the knowledge that man put together in Esau's history. But guess what? You don't even have your own history. You don't even know your true identity. You still calling yourself black African American. When first off, you're not black, you're not African, and you damn sure ain't American. All right? Then what are you? It says, verse 3, it says, Give not thou honor to another, nor the things that are profitable unto thee to a strange nation. And that's clearly Jake do that all the time. Our people are the most gifted and talented people on the earth, the most creative and inventors. But what happened with Jake? You give it all over. You give it all over to this Edomite. And what? You get pushed on the side. You get pushed on the bottom, man. You get ran over. You know? So when you obtain this truth, you're not going to go out there and teach Edomites the ways of the Lord. 
No, the Lord made the Lord said the, the Lord, the Lord chose us. He is for us. All right. And that's something that people can't get over because they clearly don't understand the scriptures. You know, with, with Esau and his uh false doctrine, Christianity, which is plantation slavery doctrine, you know, all these pastors in the churches that took the 501 contract to where things they can teach and things they can't teach, they're telling you lies. All right. That's why it boils down and it just boils down to if you are the elect or you're not, because only the elect is going to retain his truth. And we read that. All right. So it says, um, oh, Israel, happy are we for things that are pleasing to Yahweh are made known unto us. What is made known unto us? The prophecies, man. The Lord said before they come, I, I tell you of these roughly paraphrasing. What's made known unto us, the Lord's, the Lord's uh, uh, ways, all right? The Lord rules in, in order for us to live godly, all right? We're supposed to be the gods of this earth, but right now we're stripped from that because of sin, okay? Transgression against the Lord's law. That's the big issue. That's what they should have been up there talking about. But instead, you got a bunch of weirdos, homosexuals, wanting Esau to, to uh, give you Certain rights. You're never going to get nothing from this place. Nothing. <laughs> it don't matter if they, they could have another show for another hour and talk and say the say all that good stuff. But if you ain't talking about the truth, which it starts with the ingredient, the spirit, which is the heavenly father, our creator and his son, Yahweh Shai, you ain't getting nowhere, man. All right. That's why Esau allowed his platform for these characters to do this, man. They're just characters. they entertainers. How dare you allow entertainers to uh, create your reality, man? That's, that's what I was saying earlier. You know, rappers, you got stupid-ass people that listen to rap songs and let rappers create their reality. That's crazy, man. That's how they're controlling you, you, you folks, man. You, um... Two thirds. It says, um, it says, Oh, happy are we for things that are pleasing to Yahweh are made known unto us. Be of good cheer, my people, the memorial of Israel. Ye were sold to the nations, not for your destruction, but because ye moved the most high to wrath, ye were delivered unto the enemies. So you see, wasn't for that the Lord was going to just finish us off. It was for a punishment. So he says, he says, um, ye were sold to the nations. What nation on earth was sold, man? That's a clear description of who the Lord's people are. Who was sold on oxygen block, auction blocks? All right. Who was sold for wine? And um, what was what, what, what was? Forgot. But who was sold on oxygen blocks? Who has the history? Who was who was dragged on on cargo slave ships and brought from one side of the world to another? You could answer the questions yourself. You know, the Lord said his word is quick and powerful. All right. Sharpening any two edged sword. So really, the Lord makes you think when you read the scriptures. Hey, it's supposed to make you think. It says ye were sold to the nations, not for your destruction, but because ye moved your power to wrath. Ye were delivered unto the enemies, for ye provoked him that made you by sacrificing unto devils and not to the most high. Okay? So what it was, we worshiped and served other gods. We wanted to be like the other nations. And clearly today, you so-called blacks and Latinos, you are the other nations. Because the Lord don't see you as his people today. You are heathens, man. You are Gentiles. Okay? I could go outside right now and see Jake acting just like Esau, Ishmael, Ham. You know, the way that you manage yourself, the way you conduct yourself, the clothes you wear. All right. The music you listen to, the drugs you use. All right. It says you were so, uh, verse seven for you provoked him that made you to sacrifice unto devils and not to the most high. Ye have forgotten the everlasting God that brought you up, and ye have grieved Jerusalem that nursed you. All right, so I'm going to leave it there because this is a, 
beautiful chapter to get into. But that's the point. That's my, that's my point that I wanted to make through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem Yahushua about this show. It's right here. Ye have forgotten the everlasting God. You forgot about the Most High because Esau stripped you from your spirituality. It's so hard for you to even get back to your Lord because you don't believe no more. You don't know what to believe. You hear the prophets, but then you like, nah, they radical. They saying stuff that'll get me in trouble. I can't live that type of life. I can't do that. I got money. I got people who care about me. I can't let my family members to see me like that. Well, the Lord said, Yahweh Shai said out of his mouth, he that is ashamed of me, he said he will be ashamed of you before the father, man. All right. It says, ye have forgotten the everlasting God that brought you up. The only reason why we were better. We are. Well, we, we, well, we were better than these other nations because the most high chose us. Matter of fact, I know I want to play this video, but scriptures are coming to me. So bear with me. I want to go into, um, uh, let's go to, uh, uh, Deuteronomy. Because this right here hurts people's feelings. All right. This, this hurts people's feelings, but this is the most highest, uh, uh, word. Okay. Now. Let me go back to Baruch real quick and finish that up. It says, ye have forgotten the everlasting God that brought you up and ye have grieved Jerusalem that nursed you because the heavenly father had brought us up. Okay. He established who we are. He gave us these gifts. He gave us these features. He gave us melanin in our skin. All right. He made us to be the special people on the earth, the gods of the earth. And I'm going to read it to you real quick. This is Deuteronomy chapter seven, verse six. It says, for thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. The Lord thou God have chosen thee to be a special people unto himself above all people that are upon the face of the earth. So if you telling me that the creator ain't a separate, a, a separate man, he, he is not the creator Showing favor to a nation of people who he have chosen to be a special people above the rest. So why should I be ashamed and allow Esau's philosophy and his ways of life determine my determine my attitude when I say I'm better than you? You know, because clearly he shows us every day he's better than you. So you can't say that you better than him. Oh, because that's not fair. That's not equal. That's not equal. Now, what they have done to you people. Well, you're my people as well. But I'm saying the two thirds because I'm not caught up in that. That bullshit. The water you how I was shy is that now when these guys talk about reparations or slavery, they now have to because when they talk about that, they always got to talk about it. In a way that everybody can relate or understand so it doesn't offend anybody now. This politically correct thing. Every time, like Sinbad, if, if brothers get wind of Sinbad with TMZ, you know, he basically was saying that, yeah, here it is. It's no debate. It's the, the, the question was Donald Trump saying make make uh, America great again. That was the argument with T.I. Uh, Candace Owens, whatever. But, um... Make America great again. Make America great again. When? As Sinbad said, when? Was it great when we were slaves? You know, because if that's the case, then America wasn't great. That was Sinbad words. All right. But um, but my point is, when they speak about the slavery, now they have to. Now, now, so-called black man, when he bring a politically black man speaking and he talk about reparations for slavery, he also have to inquire uh, homosexuality now and uh, 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 being homophobic and things of that nature. Now, slavery is joint with the emotions of homosexuality. You see how they joint homosexuality onto you? But y'all don't see it. They don't, you know, two thirds don't even think that's wrong. But anyway... <laughs> 
Deuteronomy 7 and 6, for thou art an holy people unto the Lord thou God, the Lord thou God have chosen thee to be a special people unto himself above all people that are upon the face of the earth. The Lord did not set his love upon you, nor chose you, because ye were more in number than any people, for ye were the fewest of all people, but because the Lord loved you, and because he would keep the oath, key word, oath, scriptures say the Lord changed not, at least Jacob be consumed, key word, oath, I'm going to read it again. But because the Lord, because that shows you the Lord never let us go. The Lord never cast us away forever, as I read in Baruch. Okay? It says, but because the Lord loved you and because he would keep the oath, which he has sworn unto your fathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. All right? Uh, Ab yeah, it says, have the Lord brought you out with a mighty hand and redeemed you out of the house of bond men. From the hand of Pharaoh, king of Egypt. And that was the time in deliverance that we was delivered out of Egypt, man. When he when he split the waters. Okay, that was that was uh something to be told worldwide, man. That devastated all the world. The people feared the Lord's uh people, which are the Israelites. He, they feared them. All right. It says, Know therefore that the Lord thou God, he is a power and a faithful God which keepeth covenant and mercies with them that love him and keep his commandments to a thousand generations. So that's why, even though we have this discontinuing, um, this discontinued uh, inheritance, the scriptures say, um, how I go, uh, because we fell away, roughly paraphrase, and seek the Lord 10 times more. That's why it's very important that we seek the Lord love again, man. Let me read that last part again. Uh, it says, but because the Lord loved you and because he have kept the oath, which he have sworn unto your fathers, have the Lord brought you out with a mighty hand and redeemed you out of the house of bondmen from the hand of Pharaoh, king of Egypt. Know therefore that the Lord thou God, he is a power, the faithful God, which keepeth covenant and mercy with them that love him. Because who truly loved the Lord today? The elect. In 2019, who loved the Lord? The elect. Because they're doing the will of the Lord. Not the two-thirds of his people. It says, and keep his commandments. Who, who's going to keep the Lord's commandments to the best of their ability? The elect. They're not going to get it perfectly. But guess what? It's all about rehearsal. It's all about the act of the act of rehearsing and repenting, being sincere. It says, and keep his commandments to a thousand generations. And um, this is for the inheritance. This is Jeremiah 17 and 4. And thou, even thou self, shalt discontinue from thine heritage that I gave thee. And I will cause thee to serve thy enemies in a land which thou knowest not. For ye have kindled a fire in my anger, which shall burn forever. Okay, so the Most High was angry. And I'm going to read on to the next verse, verse five. It says, thus saith the Lord, Yahweh, curse be man that trusteth in man and make it flesh his arm and whose heart departed from the Lord. All of these celebrities on this show here, man, you know, their mind have departed from the Lord and they don't look forward into coming back to the Lord. You see the prophets out there. You see on YouTube, you see videos on your phone, you see the. Uh, uh, videos going going on YouTube, man. There's plenty, many prophets out there. All right, when I'm gonna say starting with Great Millstone, because you know that's where the Lord is at, man. You know, speaking 100 percent truth and just teaching, not worrying about nothing else, man. But just teaching the word as Yahweh Shah taught us to. All right, it says, "Thus saith the Lord: Cursed be man that trusteth in man." And what they do, they trust in men. And right now. If Killer Mike was running for president, they'll vote for Killer Mike. And guess what? If Killer Mike became president, guess what? He he <laughs> he wouldn't be talking all what he talking now. That's what happened to your man Obama. <laughs> the elites run this. They run this show, and they're not gonna change anything. 
If anything's going to change, you're going to be more of a slave when you take that mark of the beast, which is the chip. When they put that chip in your hand, man. All right? Because they bringing back slavery. Well, slavery never left, but they bringing back that, that full control of the body, man. Okay? It says, uh, Curse be man that trusteth in man and maketh flesh his arm, whose heart departed from the Lord, and their mind departed from the Lord. So I'm going to play a little bit of this video real quick. I ain't mean for this video to be so long. And um, Lord willing, I just hope that it's edifying to those of the whole four leg. I'm a proud American. Let me say that first. I have no problem saying that because I provided an opportunity. Notice what he said. He's a proud American. You hear that? <laughs> He's a proud American. So he... <laughs> after all those scriptures I just read, and that's the spirit because I didn't time it right there. I really didn't time it right there for him to say that. And he just said it. I got to play that back. Got to play that back, man. He's a proud American. We're not American, man. America is named after Edomite, man. America Fasfusi. I can't say his name all the time right. But um, anyway. You glorify their heroes. I am a proud American. Let me say that first. I have no problem saying that because I provided an opportunity in this country that I travel around the world other black men and women don't have. Now, it is my res responsibility to take that opportunity and create more opportunities by way of economy, by way of having a platform to speak on the behalf of, and by way of making sure my constitutional rights and privileges are honored, which is why you... His constitutional right and privileges are honored. So... <laughs> you have no control over that. Because if you was a part of the Constitution, they wouldn't pull you out of your car and do whatever they want to you. They wouldn't search a car without a search warrant or, uh, yeah, or, you know, they wouldn't gun you down. They wouldn't gun you down the way they do these, these dudes, man, you know? It's just crazy how Jake Mind is really caught up in trying to better better themselves in this place that called America and not look for the Lord. It's amazing how how so far they're going. You hear me, who stands a lot of times with people on the left, say, I don't give a fuck what them niggas talking about. I'm not giving up my gun for nobody because the Second Amendment promises me that. I speak and say what I like because the First Amendment promises me that. So, my but so he, he, he clearly... You know, and, and like these Edomites don't get away with murder. <laughs> you have no rights. You can say all that good stuff and, and this and that. But if a cop pull you over and put a gun in your face or gun you, shoot you. For, at first, handcuff you, lay you flat on the ground, and then shoot you in the back. Then what? Your constitutional right? Some, is, they, is you going to get justice for that? You ain't got no rights. You're a slave. Satan, here goes Satan. Right, so, like, hold on. Like, no, no, no. no I, I don't want you to stop. What I want you to do is tell me about the process because you you and Bernie have been riding hard, but I'm yeah. interested in knowing what was the conversation so but that he could... and Bernie, we're going to keep it local. I'm talking about Atlanta. And what I mean is Atlanta is a black city that succeeded with non-black, with black but non-black total agreement. We had a black paper here that was owned by black Republicans that helped the NCLC promote, which was owned by black liberals. We had black ministers who were ultimately conservative and told Dr. King when he was a young man in the late 50s, hey, I want to start this civil rights campaign. They said, there's Alabama, take your ass on down there and go. It didn't start in Atlanta because Atlanta niggas had some money and they was a little bougie. It started outside Atlanta and came back with young people. So young people, the old people now who you disagree with once were young. And because they did things like took bullets, took beatings, took bashes to the brain, you have that opportunity. So absolutely, there's a blood oath that's been made. There's been a blood oath made in every American. When we learned about the American Revolution in Collier Heights Elementary in all black neighborhood, we did not learn about a white country that simply used us as slaves. We learned that the first person to die on the behalf of this country was a black man named Chris. I'm going to say something. 
all that stuff sounds good, but ain't none of these young black dudes, cause that's who it's who that's who Esau attacked the most is the youth, is the young. Now your young black men are homosexuals, my guy. They're not standing up for none of this. It sounds good, but ain't no youth coming back and doing nothing. You gotta understand the times that we're living in. The earth is 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 more sin going on. They done took Jake. <laughs> they took Jake and stripped him from his power, man. From his man, he's stripping Jake from his conscience, man. You know. This was Addis. That gives a sense of pride to a black boy. Yeah, Esau done took Jake's pride. These kids are homos, homosexuals, man. Well, what happens to that black boy then? That little motherfucker grows up and goes to Frederick Douglass High School. Frederick Douglass is the most photographed person of the 19th century, a person who worked with both Democrats and Republicans, who helped free not only black people, but women. He said in 1865, women and black people deserve the right to vote. But I wouldn't know that had I not been educated by a syllabus that was given from Clark University and Dr. Asa Yilia. Right. So he's speaking something. Let me go here real quick. This is um in the Apocrypha. This is uh Wisdom of Solomon, chapter two. It says, um let's see, where is that? Because uh, Esau's education will destroy you. Esau's education is misinforming you about what can help you and your people. It's all about him. All right. White supremacy. You know, and of course he had a, hey, he got every right to, this is according to, uh, the blessing of Esau is to have the fatness of the earth. This is his time to rule. Okay. This is why you got to read the scriptures, man. Um, I'm trying to find, okay. This is wisdom of Solomon chapter two and nine. Let none of us go without his part of our, uh, voluptuousness. Let us leave tokens for our joyfulness in every place, for this is our portion and out and our lot is this. All right. Talking about Esau. This is their lot. We're living in their lot. It says, let us oppress the poor righteous man. Let us not spare the widow, nor reverence the ancient gray hairs of the age. Let our strength be the law of justice. For that which is feeble is found to be nothing rough. Therefore, let us lie in wait for the righteous. And who's the righteous? You Israelites, man. All right. It says, because he is not for our turn. He is clean contrary of our doings. He upbraideth us, upbraideth us with our offending the law. What law? The Lord's law. It says, and objective to our infamy the transgressions of our education. So Killer Mike got a point. You know, he went to that school. You being misinformed. You had um, Dr. Umar trying to bring out. Uh, I, I think he wanted to start a black school. I think LeBron started a black school. But guess what? What what what's the what's the uh, uh, how you say the word curriculum is going to be? What's the what, what what's going to be taught to these kids? The same philosophies, the same history in which other schools teach. And that's to indoctrinate uh, uh, you, you might so-called minorities, all right, in the ways of Esau being superior over you. So that you can continue to be the poor, they continue to be the rich. All right? Bible talks about everything, man. And, and I'll say this too. Yahweh Bashem Shah has your number, Esau, because your days are numbered. According to Job... It's a boundary that you can't pass. A boundary that you can't pass. Uh, second Edris 6. When Edris was talking with the Lord. All right. When Esau's rule, when Esau fall down, Jacob is up next to follow. So we got the kingdom next. I am. I am. What you see when you see me and you see Tim Harris is the product of black excellence. We didn't wake up and a nigga start using big words and we sing and dance and all of a sudden we got it figured out. This is a process. You are a part of a process. The same way a Jewish child is a part of a 10,000 year process of keeping a culture. Clarence Avant is the reason you have Sean Combs. It's the reason you would have the next. And he's right. 
you are part of a process. But what happened with us is that our process that we had, knowing who we was, was taken away. We had no identity. We had no existence really no more. But to be slaves to Esau. And now you're trying to pick up a process. You want Jake to be a be a, be for their culture. What culture? Jake is homosexuals now. <laughs> I, I, that's taking away your own culture. That's genocide. And you expect these young cats, high school, elementary school, to grow and fight and and. And, and really practice this is never going to happen. And it's reasons because the Lord, all right, the Most High put the curses there, man. All right. Now I'm going to read Deuteronomy 28 and 1. It says, and it shall come to pass if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thou God to observe and to do all his commandments, which I command thee this day, that the Lord thou God will set thee on high above all nations of the earth. All right. So if we would have done, if we, well, if we do according to the Lord's ways, then the most high will set us on high above all the rest of the nations. Right now, Esau is on high. He's above the rest of the nations, but not because he's done what the Lord uh, wanted him to do. He just playing out his lot from his foot. That was the blessing from Isaac, his father that was given to him. And guess what? Guess who's up next when he, when his blessing is done? We are because we got the kingdom. All right. We got the everlasting life. We got the kingdom, which is in heaven, man. And heaven is going to be on earth, not up in somewhere in space. So let me read Deuteronomy 28, 15. But it shall come to pass if thou will not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thou God to observe and to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So that's explaining my point and, you know, reflecting and deflecting off of what killer mike is saying because he's saying the good stuff it sounds good but jake has curses on them jake doesn't have a, a starting they haven't even begun to to really be for them that them days are old the 70s them past man there's no more black panthers and things like that activists which that all wasn't no solution to us getting out of this hell you know but that them passed we're in 2019 these kids today, Jake is homosexuals, man. I'm it's, it's just telling the truth. It's done for. You're done. You're done. Until the Lord deliver the elect and destroy the two thirds and destroy this place that you call America, which is known as Babylon the Great, according to the scriptures. You know, I ain't gonna leave it too long. I hope my phone will cut off. I think it cut off at 50 minutes, but um I think my point has been proven. I wanted to catch the um Scene with T.I. You know, y'all brothers could look the video up. I'm pretty sure you put T.I. versus Candace Owens. It's going to come right up. Because that was, you know, entertainment, boy. You know, the big entertainment, you know. this. It was a lot said in this, in this hour long. A couple good points they made. Some truth. But as you know, mixed with lies. You know, mixed with nothing to actually uh, redeem you. Because you can't be redeemed unless Yahweh Shai redeem you. We need a savior, all right? We need one. Because if not, then we're dead, man. The Lord said, is, uh, if he don't shorten the days for the elect's sake, no flesh should be saved. You know, so I have, damn, I have some more precepts too, man. Um, I'll just read them off. I hopefully I hope my camera don't cut off. Um, this is Micah chapter 2, verse 10. Arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest, because it is polluted. It shall destroy you even with a sort of destruction. That's right. The philosophies, the religions, okay, all of this is going to lead to your destruction. And not just a destruction, but a sore destruction. And you look that up, all right? That's a grievous death. You know, Jake is left and right, man. And then people want to be, uh, they think they know something. They say, uh, well, white man is not our enemy. Uh, we are enemy. We killing. We killing ourselves. Yeah, but you don't understand the root of the problem. It started with him uh, putting us in these uh, positions, man. And to what we became now, he is the enemy, and he's never gonna stop. All right. Um. You know what? 
Dang, I think, you know, that's it. Oh, 2 Chronicles 7.14. If my people, notice the Lord said, my people. Because who are the Lord's people? The Israelites. He's not talking about the world. God doesn't love everybody. And yes, the Most High does hate. Romans 9 and 13. Go read it. If my people, which are called by my name. How are they called by the Lord's name? Yasha Allah. He, Prince Power. The Prince of the Most High. Israel. All right, he changed Jacob's name to Israel. Okay, it says, and then when you get into Judah, you know, the Hebrew word for Judah is Yahweh. Yahweh's name is inside that tribe, that tribal's name, Judah, Yahweh. It says, if my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven. And I will forgive their sin and will heal their land. You see? So it's all about taking action and, and coming back into Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah, into the spirit. These people are not spiritual. Not at all. You know? And I can't even see why they're not. Well, excuse me. I can't even, um, excuse me, bad choice of words. Um, and I can see why they're not. Because they got too much carnalness going on. These guys are celebrities. They're entertainers. You can't take them seriously. You know? They just say the stuff that sounds good. They do that for a living. They get before camera and they say stuff that sounds good. That's why none of them is going to be probably punished for what they're saying. Because Esau don't care. Ain't nothing else coming out of this. I'm going to read that again. If my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves. All right? Because it takes uh, humbleness. In order to learn. I don't care how old you are. 70, 60, 50, 40, 30, 20. You got to be humble. To be retort. You got to really believe. It says and pray. Praying is an action of faith. You know. Because most people they pray. And they've been into that. You know religion of Christianity. You know they praying to Jesus Christ. And nothing happens. So you know you kind of like. I don't care. I don't believe in that no more. You know, that's some bullshit. No, it ain't. You know, well, it was when you was calling upon Satan, but not with the Heavenly Father. All right. And then once you too, once you wake up to this truth, you're going to catch hell. You know, you can't get discouraged because all of a sudden you start believing. And next thing you know, you're catching all this hell out of nowhere. All of a sudden you're trying to pull away from the Lord. Nah, you got to hold on to the Lord because on this side, you're not going to have the best of both worlds. You're not going to have uh, this side to glorify in. You're going to lose yourself in this side. And you're going to gain yourself in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Straight up. If you're a rich man, hey, you might lose some riches, man. You got to expect that, you know, if you believe. Uh, it says, if my people which are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face. How do you seek the Lord's face? The Bible. All right. And turn from their wicked ways. Because the Lord wants you to repent. Stop being a homosexual. Well, Lord said, if a man remove his members, he can't enter into the kingdom. So, and then too, the, the law is, you know, you homosexual. Well, anyway, let me move on. Stop eating crab, shrimp, lobster, and pork. You know, stop uh, committing adultery. You know, men laying with other men's wives, women jumping from man to man, you know. So if you can't turn from your wicked ways, then you're not of the Lord, man. It says, then will I hear from heaven, all right, because the, the most high is in the heavens, man. When we pray, our, our prayer, a humble, uh, con a, a man with a contrite heart and a humble mind praying to the Lord, it pierces the clouds, man. The most high hears them. He said he hears the prayers of the righteous. His ears are open unto the prayers of the righteous. It says, then will I hear from heaven and I will forgive their sin and will heal, heal their land. And right now, the Lord is preparing us, all right, to go back to Israel once he destroyed. Once he fulfilled the prophecies here, which is the force of the RFID microchip, which is the mark of the beast. And then also, you know, the clan of the war, World War Three, And when this place be, you know, nuclear, nuclear to destroy, all right, then what? The elect is going to be delivered, man. All right, so I hope this lesson was edifying. I want to give all praise to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai.
Bahashim Rakakwadash. I like to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's whole four elect. Shalom.